Here's everything you'll need for today's recipe. Most importantly, a bottle of port and a bottle of Bordeaux. You'll need four oranges and all the necessary spices. Speaking of spices, let's start with cloves. I choose to pour out a handful to work with as we're going to need about 20 to 25 of them. We're using the cloves to penetrate the fruit's peel. I recommend inserting five or six cloves per orange. It might not seem like much compared to the surface area of the fruit, but the cloves make up for the small numbers with potent flavor. The oranges should look something like this, sort of like the bulbs of a prickly pear cactus. Let's place them in an oven heated to 350 degrees for 90 minutes. As we wait on the oranges to bake, let's add to a medium-large pot 750 milliliters of port. Port is a historically Portuguese fortified sweet red wine. This bottle of Fairbanks port is 18% ABV, so packs a little more punch than the other sweet reds. Next up, a 750 milliliter pour of Bordeaux. This wine is likely more familiar coming from the largest wine growing region of France. That's the Bordeaux region. Back to spices. This is ginger root. I love ginger, so I'm going to add quite a bit. Add as much as your heart tells you. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. A half a teaspoon of allspice. A half a cup of brown sugar. Just in time, the oranges are ready. Notice the light browning. Heavenly aroma. And that the oranges feel much softer to the touch. Let's see what the inside reveals. Yeah. Let's double down. Yep. Based on the steam coming off the orange flesh, I might wait a moment before the next step. Can't wait any longer. Let's collect the juice of the four baked oranges. Well, that was easy. No, uh, this is the hardest part. The oranges are not easy to work with, but they are filled with liquid gold. Let's transfer said liquid gold into our spiced wine. Go ahead and homogenize the mixture as best you can. We'll add heat and bring to a simmer. This only needs to get hot enough to dissolve the sugar. After that, you might just start cooking off the alcohol and we wouldn't want that, would we? We've reached the final and most anticipated step. Does it taste worth a damn? Let's find out. Yes, yes it does. The combination of spices complements the wine perfectly. The orange juice after being baked is not as overpowering as you'd expect from an unaltered fresh orange. It's not overly sweet and retains enough of the characteristics of the wine that was included. And of course, the sensation of a warm drink on a cold day is perfect this time of year. I'll have a mulled wine, please. <laughs>